Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be doing our first product review. So we're gonna be taking a look at the Codabo Prodigy carbon fiber violin bow, and we're gonna see how it stacks up against a professional Pernambuco Brazil wood professional bow. Say that five times fast. So when I compare these two bows, I'm gonna be going over the following things. We're gonna talk about the length, weight, stick shape, and of course, material. So then after I break down each bow's characteristics, we're gonna do a side-by-side -side playing comparison and play a whole bunch of different styles of stuff so that you guys can really hear how these bows sound side-by-side. -side. So first, let's start with the professional bow. And as you can see, this, this bow has an octagonal stick shape. Um, you'll see how the other bow later on has a round stick shape. So this bow is made by a guy named Klaus Jubel and it is a pretty standard entry level professional bow. It's not worth thousands of dollars. I actually paid 1500 USD uh, for this particular bow. So this bow is 74.3 centimeters long and it's his bows weigh anywhere from 60 grams to 62 grams. Uh, I actually don't know how much this particular one weighs, but a lot of bow makers tend to keep their stuff in the same range, um, with a few anomalies, of course. So when I hold this bow, it feels really nicely balanced, right? Like it doesn't feel too heavy. Like I can uh, do, you know, this kind of a thing, and it it really doesn't it doesn't strain my hand at all to hold it this way. And another thing I like to do is like the windshield wiper test. <laughs> So with this bow, like that, that's not hard at all. It really feels nicely in the hand. So let's just like play a string or something. It's got a nice catch. You can really feel the string catch when you're playing it. Um, of course, I'm gonna play more uh, later on. So uh, that's. That's the Yuba bow, and uh, let's move on to the carbon fiber, the Coda bow. So this is the Prodigy bow by the company. The company is Coda bow, um, carbon fiber. And so the benefits of carbon fiber, obviously being it is not as susceptible to weather changes, which is great, especially if you're, um, if you're out gigging, you know, playing outdoor gigs. The other month I played a gig outdoors, 32 degrees, um, I actually didn't have this bow available to me because it was getting rehaired. Um, but still, carbon fiber is, is really what you want for a nice durable um, outdoor uh, venue bow if you need one like that. This bow actually comes in a little bit shorter than the other bow. Um, it only comes in at a little bit under 74 centimeters, but that's still basically normal for your, your average full-size violin bow. So when I hold this bow, the Coda bow, it still feels really good. It feels a little different. It does feel like there's just the tiniest bit more weight um, down the bow when you, as you get to the tip. Um, and part of that is that if you see there, this bow actually has a, a metal tip, um, which, which is nice because um, in the old days they made these out of ivory, which is of course illegal uh, nowadays. So the metal tip is very durable. So, um, you know, if you accidentally whack your bow into a music stand, you don't have to worry about that expensive ivory or anything breaking because it's metal. Just make sure you don't uh, accidentally stab someone. So if I do the windshield wiper test with this one, I can feel it in my pinky a little bit more. Let's play a little something with this bow. Got a nice catch to it. Um, catches maybe just the slightest bit less than the professional bow, it's like tiny bit, tiny bit. Obviously there's a few more things at play here, right? So your rosin type that you choose, how much you put on, that will affect the catch. And then just you know your technique versus my technique, you might play a little bit more softly than I do. Um, a few things can change the bow other than the bow itself. So for this one, when I pull it across the string, it feels 
like it sinks into the string just the slightest bit more because of that weight distribution I was talking about. So it gives it this nice full feeling when you pull it across the string. So let's get to the part you actually want to see, the playing test. time for the verdict, right? Well, I think it's clear for me to say that I certainly enjoy playing on my professional Yubel bow more than the carbon fiber. But let's be real here. I paid $1,500 for this bow, and this bow you can pick up right now for about $311 if you on the right website. And pros to the carbon fiber, weather resistant, super strong. Pros to the wood bow, um, slightly more refined sound and it was a little bit easier for me to bounce this bow on those spiccato and sautier strokes So that's something to keep in mind But also, you know, I was able to do those strokes on this bow and the only reason it didn't work for me as well on this bow is because I'm so used to my um, Yubel bow. So let me know in the comments below. Uh, how did what did you guys think about each bow? Did, did you think did you kind of agree with me thinking this one bounced better? Maybe you thought this one bounced better uh, How did you like the tone on each one uh, go back rewind that section a bunch? Just just see what you think. I'm, I'm really curious I don't know why I keep moving them around so guys, thanks again for coming to the channel. Don't forget to comment below Tell me which bow you like better. Uh, tell me what bow you're gonna get next as always guys don't forget to like and subscribe below there's a good chunk of you out there that are not subscribed a lot of the views to this channel are not subscribed and we should change that so that's all for now guys stay tuned for the next video i'll see you on the next one